Uh, today we're going to be talking about retouching and repairing. Uh, this is very helpful for portrait style pictures that you may have. A lot of times uh, we're perfectionists on the way we look and there's sometimes you'll have a dimple or a spot or uh, wrinkles, whatever on your face. You maybe want to change your hair color or something. This tutorial is going to help you be able to edit those photographs of people and other things as well. So uh, you should have opened the file called parts from the website and let's go ahead and go through this tutorial real quick. It's one of my favorite tutorials and it's pretty short and fast too. Uh, but there's three sections, part one, and we're going to go start on the bottom and then go up. So first of all, it says use the clone stamp tool. Uh, what the clone stamp tool does, well first of all, it's on the left side and it's right here. Clone stamp tool. So you're going to click on clone stamp tool. What that does is you're going to be selecting a part of your uh, photograph. Notice there's a tear in this picture. We want this to be water, right? But notice that we have water here that would look very similar to if it was here. So we're basically going to clone this water over here so it copies it over here. So go ahead, hold down the Option Alt key and click on like the water to the right side of it. And basically when we drag our clone tool over the rip part of our photograph, notice that there's a, a crosshair cross to the right of our brush. That's what it's being copied over when we do that. Um, let's see. Make sure that the bolt layer is selected though. Make sure there's different layers. Make sure bolt is selected. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit option. And then as we go over, it's automatically going to fill it in for us. And it blends it in very pretty well. And you can always uh, choose other parts of the water. So now our water kind of blends in well together. And you can't really tell that there was a torn part. Oh. Uh, okay, <clears throat> next we're going to be using the pattern part. So notice on the clone tool there was two parts, a clone and a pattern stamp tool. So click on the pattern stamp tool. And you guys know what patterns are, right? Uh, like there's patterns in fabric. Or, so we're going to be making a pattern with this water. So it says here to select the portion of, of water over here. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do that. It says select the marquee tool, M on your keyboard, draw a box around this water area uh, right about here. And then let's see, it says filter pattern maker. So go to Filter, Pattern Maker, Let's see. and notice the select it's selected right here. So you're going to hit Generate, and then now that's what's um, being generated. Then you're going to click on the Save button and name it Water. So do not hit OK. A lot of people make the mistake and hit OK. We're not going to do that. We're going to go down to this little Save button and hit Save. And then a box comes up. We're going to call this Water. Hit OK. So now we've made a pattern. Hit Cancel. Command D to deselect that part. Now if we want to take off this ripple, see this ripple up here above our guys? If we want to take that out, let's go ahead and use the pattern maker. So go ahead, use the pattern stamp tool. And let's see, next. Up here, you should have your selection. You can select which pattern you want. Click on that. These are a bunch of preset patterns. Notice there's like wood and retro colors. But there's also the water one that we created. So we're going to hit water. 
And now we have our little brush in a circle. We can make that bigger. And we're basically going to like use that part and take out that ripple effect. Okay. Like if I had a different pattern, like this retro color, <laughs> see I can paint my retro background like that. So, okay, so that's basically, oh, and it says to type in crew for the text. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Click on the letter T on your keyboard, get the text tool. Choose a font that's kind of more bigger and thicker and type in crew. And I'm gonna change my font to here we go. Gil Sands looks good. Let me make it bigger. Maybe 111. Maybe 100 would be a good size font. Okay. And then I'm going to change this to white. Um, notice there's a, a drop shadow on it. So let's hit a drop shadow. If you get your drop shadow, it's the function key. And then hit drop shadow. Now we got our drop shadow. Notice you can see through the water. So what do we need to change? Trans Correct. Transparency. So let's bring down our transparency. <clears throat> so now we'll, there it is. So now we're done with our crew section. And that's how it should look like. Transparency is right there on your layers. I did about 44%, but you can choose. And in part two of our lesson, we're going to be learning about the healing brush. Now, in this photograph of this mountain climber, you'll see a bunch of like graffiti and these holes. Looks like somebody took a machine gun and was trying to shoot the mountain and while she was climbing. So we need to like, if we're going to publish this photo, we want to take off those marks so people don't assume the worst. So we're going to first use our healing brush to take out this graffiti DJ. So for example, healing brush is a little band-aid and then choose healing brush. And you know when we get hurt and we we're bleeding and we cry to our mom when we were a kid and mom would always kiss it and make it better and give us a band-aid, right? Make sure that you select the rock climber uh, layer that we're working on. Now you'll see DJ, right? So, uh, spot healing basically says we're going to hold down the uh, alt option key and then click on an area like above DJ and then drag it down like this and it's automatically going to heal it for us. Like magic, like Wolverine. So let's go ahead and do that. Right above DJ, and then drag it down, and it's automatically going to heal it for us. Wow, magic. Wolverine is one of my favorite characters from Marvel and stuff. Okay, so that's done. No more graffiti. Too bad we can't do that in real life.